Hey guys, I have a quick project share I wanted to do with you today. I checked one of my normal things I check in the morning online, um, which is the Silhouette online store. And on the blog, they had a challenge, um, they have one every Friday, for making something that was interactive. So I had gotten this file, it's um, Lori Whitlock. I'll have a link to the uh, design ID on my blog. It's a 4x4 pocket album, I believe. It's 3D 4x4 pocket album, Lori Whitlock. Um, and I had seen this, uh, and it's interactive because the tags pull in and out. So I thought this would be something cute to make. And uh, how I did my Christmas project the other day, I decided it would be cool to get another Christmas project done. So the flip side to that is I don't know what pictures I'm going to use yet, so it's not all embellished out. I like to have my pictures and then do embellishments last. I know whenever I do an album or something, I don't really embellish until I have the pictures because the colors and everything with it. So it's just, it's my process. I know some people can make layout after layout after layout and not know, or mini books, um, and not know what pictures are going to go in there. I, I just, it doesn't work well for me. Um, it's not my process. It's not the way that I do it. So, um, like I said, there's very little embellishment. So it's a Christmas mini. Um, so it was safe to put a Christmas tree on there. So I'm just going to show you um, I think I, I got it together kind of okay, but I think I made a couple mistakes along the way. Um, so here's the tag for this pocket. Because this is a little tight. I think I should have jointed my pieces on the back different. Um, instead of joining them in the pocket. So it makes it a little stickier, but that's okay. And then there's this tag here. And they're white on the back, so you could... Some adhesive hanging on there. You could either do journaling on the back or you could add more pictures or it's very open where I've left it white. Um, and you could also cover it with more patterned paper if you wanted to or stamp or I like to just leave lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of options open. So when it comes time, I think of an embellishment I really want to use. I can use it. Um, and then these I have to where it's the paper is glittered and it's kind of raised, it's embossed, um, the ATG has been having a hard time kind of sticking so I'll have to put some more. And this is the only other thing I really embellished. Um, for Christmas my mom always has nutcrackers so that's a safe embellishment for me. Um, it's white on the back. You could use double sided paper. I just, I really wanted to use this. This is the My Mind's Eye Christmas Tree Collection and unfortunately it's from 2010 so you probably can't get it but um, you can't go wrong with my mind's eye. They have a gorgeous Christmas paper every year, so you can do this with any Christmas stack. And then here's the other tag. And the tags are, you get it on the back as well. So it's a half circle. And the silhouette cuts that out for you. Um, and then there's the back cover. So in the middle here is, this is chipboard in the middle. I only used one piece. I was originally going to use two. I do wish that I would have painted this because it shows the natural chipboard color. Um, you'll notice inside I layered the paper as well. You can see that green paper in the background because I didn't want to look at the chipboard. Um, so you can see that green paper. Now, what else I did? I, on the back... I layered this so this can either just give you so it looks finished and I copied the same papers so it's the same on the front as it is on the back the only difference is I didn't want to use the same this paper twice so I used the inside um, see so this one you can see the same paper twice I didn't catch that or I probably would have switched it up but you know what it's okay it's homemade go with it so you could either mount um, pictures or journaling, or you could just have it so it's finished. Um, it just gives it a nice finished polished look, and I really liked it. And I didn't actually use a silhouette cut file for that. I just, the pages are four by four, so I just went ahead and cut them to three and three quarters by three and three quarters and squared them. Um, I don't think I rounded the corners. No, I didn't. I didn't round the corners. So there you go, and then it can sit up like this. Um, 
put it in frame there you go so it can sit up like this and I just think it looks better so that if this is facing forward it's still covered I mean the brown cardstock's great too um, it really could have looked finished the other way but I just like the look that adding those other um, pieces of cardstock on the back gave me so I just wanted to share this with you head over onto my blog um, and I'll let you know what I used the products I used. I always have a full supply list for my projects over on my blog and a link to um, if it's a silhouette cut file from the silhouette online, silhouette online store I'll have a link right to the design ID. So anything you see on my blog that I believe it turns blue when you click on it is a hyperlink. Uh, so if I use for example my creative time dies and you click on the hyperlink it'll take you right to that die set or that stamp set. Um, I've recently done it for my cards TV ones and the silhouette online store. I always put the design ID. You can click on it. It'll take you right to it to see if it's something you're interested in. Um, and Cricut cartridges, I usually just put the page number. So, but anyways, if you head over to my blog, you can see the supply lists of things that I used. And if you have any comments, please post them below. I absolutely love reading your comments. Um, it's awesome to see the comments from you guys. So please keep up the comments or questions or anything. I hope you guys had a good day, and I will um, be back soon with another project, I'm sure. So for the supply list, I don't think I gave you my blog address. It's www.crazycatladycraft.blogspot.com, and if you didn't catch that, I always put it in the description down below, so you can just go copy and paste and go to my blog and check it out, see what else I'm up to for crafty fun. And I just want to thank you for stopping by today to check out my projects. It means a lot that you guys watch. And I love doing videos knowing that you guys are watching. And I love watching the videos that you guys do. So please keep up your videos and I'll try to keep up mine. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Happy crafting.